Hi, this is Alex from Vape Revolution. Today I'm going to be doing an unpackaging and breakdown video of the Chi Yu mod made by Mojo in Korea. So let's open it up. So as you saw in the packaging, this is number 98. And this is how the mod comes shipped to us. Uh, it comes completely assembled with all of the extension tubes screwed on. Uh, you wouldn't be using it like this. You would be choosing one of uh, the three different configurations you could run. Um, but first off, I'm going to start off by taking it apart and showing you everything broken down. So the top cap, which has the adjustable airflow. This is your main tube or your 18350 configuration tube. Here's your 18490 or 18500 tube, your 18650 tube, and your mechanical switch. Hmm. All right, so th these are the three different battery sizes that the Chi Yu mod can accommodate 18350, 18490, and 18650. The main battery tube of the Chi Yu mod, which is also the 18350 tube, um, has the logo engraved real big on the front of it, and on the back side has this uh, strip of Korean writing with uh, the serial number. In, in this case, this one is number 98. Uh, the Korean writing says Chi Yu Chan Wan, which means in translated into English. Uh, Chi Yu, the Great Warrior King. Now, if you wanted to run your Chi Yu mod with a larger batter, battery than the 18350, uh, you would need to use either one of these extension tubes. So you have the 18490 extension tube and the 18650 extension tube. I'm going to put the three configurations together really quickly just so you can see what it looks like in any of the following setups. So here's the Chi Yu mod in 18350 size. Now let's put it into 18490 size. And as you can hear, the threading is really nice. So I added the smaller extension tube. Now this will accommodate the 18490 size battery. And that's an 18490. And lastly, we have 18650, which you will now remove the 18490 extension tube and replace it with the 18650 extension tube. Eighteen six fifty size. So, one thing I want to point out: you hear the uh, the rattling. Okay, so this is one amazing thing about the Chiu mod. Chiu mod has a, I guess we'll say it a two-part um, positive post. It has a positive post with adjustment for connection to the battery, and a positive post with connection adjustment for the connection for the atomizer. So you can screw out I'm gonna go ahead and let me screw in the battery connection all the way and then I'm gonna screw out the atomizer connection so you can see what I'm talking about so here's the atomizer portion of the positive post backed out some now let's just say that it was making contact with the atomizer but it wasn't making enough contact with the battery and the battery was rattling around I could now adjust the positive post for the battery
and now you can see that the battery positive post can be adjusted also. So realistically your atomizer pin is going to be somewhere around here and your battery connector or battery positive post is going to be a little bit closer. I seem to have better results when my battery post is closer in and I can get my atomizer pin as low as possible while still making connection. And then screw in your top cap, not quite where it needs to be, so we can back this out more. And screw it back in. And now, there's no more rattle. And if I had an atomizer on it, it would fire just fine. So let's talk a little bit more about the adjustable airflow or air control. Um, if you look right here, you can see that there are three small holes that travel through the wall of the upper cap and allow airflow to get into this uh, juice catch or chamber you have uh, just outside of the 510 connection. On the top of this adjustable airflow ring, you have an O-ring. And when you, can you see the O-ring there? When you adjust the O, the airflow control ring over the air holes, the O-ring will block off a portion of the air holes to constrict or, you know, back it off to open up airflow. Now, the Chiyu Mods 510 connection has very deeply cut slots and so airflow with anything like an atomizer or maybe just a cartomizer by itself is not an issue. Um, this would only really become effective if you had something where the airflow came from the bottom like a like a Odysseus or a Penelope or even like a cartomizer tank where the the bottom of the tank assembly or atomizer assembly itself was blocking off airflow at the 510 connection because it sat flush now the airflow would then be able to come from here. Um, but other than that, atomizer, cartomizer, anything else you might have screwed up on top of there, the airflow through those channels is very, very good, so it's usually not an issue. Uh, now let's take a look at the mechanical switch for the GU mod. So the mechanical switch functions really well it's got these nice little knurled out sections on either side so you can get a grip on it if it does get locked a little tight on you. But you uh, turn it left to lock it, the button will not fire. Turn it to the right to unlock it and it will fire. Um, I do want to show that I usually leave mine unlocked and it does not fire when I just let it stand there. So the spring has got enough tension to it to where it just won't fire on its own but if you pushed it would. So I'm going to quickly take apart this mechanical switch so you can see what it looks like and how easy it is to assemble and disassemble the Chiyu mod. So there's your switch. Your switch actually has a really nice engraving on it as well. It says Style of Mojo. This is version 2012. The new one actually has a bigger um, logo. From Mojo on it, and it um, it says uh, version 2013, which we will have in the very near future. Uh, now this switch is vented. If you look closely, you can see that there is a vent hole right in the bottom there, and it does in fact go all the way through. And then you have your swing, which, like I said, provides enough tension so that the device will not fire just by standing weight alone. So let's go ahead and put it back together now. Spring onto the base. And now slide it in through the hole. Oh, real quick. Just so you see how easy it is to take off the locking ring. Machining on this is very, very, very precise. I haven't had any issues with threading or unthreading, things not lining up, things not fitting right. So far, so good. And we're just going to 
just going to push that through, hold the switch in place, put the screw in, just kind of give it a start with your fingers and then use the screwdriver to finish it off. And I just hold the switch and give it a good turn and that's tight enough. So let's put it back together. Uh, let's do this in 18350 mode. We'll store these two together for safekeeping. And I'm going to guess that I need to back this out some so that the battery doesn't rattle. No rattle. So there you have it. Chi Mod by Mojo in Korea. Available at Vape Revolution. Thanks.